dose of reality. What? I mean, why would you have your pants that low if you don't want to show your butt? You're trying to show a sign or something? I'm saying, let me see your butt. Let me squeeze it. Look, you ain't even got no a- <laughs> This serious. You don't even have no a- Funny. What are you sagging, man? Right. Did nobody say y'all can laugh? I'm saying, don't listen. You know what they do to people that sag in jail? Stick their fingers down their butt. They stick their fingers down their butt. It's called easy access. You sag so I can get to you. Turn I around. Mean, I, I, I don't want to see. Yeah, turn around. Look, you just profiling for me. You shaking and sh- turning. Dog, you like that? Yeah, I think there's a common thread when they're honest, and I think the common thread is... Uh, you know, what will be seen in this series. I mean, it's uh, it starts out innocently enough. It starts out trying to be a tough guy. It starts out uh, trying to show off to your friends. It starts out that your your friends have inflated your ego into thinking you're tougher and badder than you are. Uh, it graduates to, uh, there are a lot of things I want, and I think I can just go ahead and take them because I'm bad or because everybody thinks I can go ahead and do this, and I think it escalates from there. So you can waste your life chasing this dream. It's an illusion. Please understand it. You don't know it. Can none of man one of y'all cannot sit here and tell me a guy that made it out the game with the money, with the fame. Think about it. Everybody can don't have to show me or say raise your hand or nothing. Tell me a guy that made it. If he did right now, he might be famous in your neighborhood. But he did. If he in prison right now, he may still be famous in your neighborhood. But he in prison. Listen, man. I've been here since Labor Day, 4th of July. I ain't see the Pistons win. I ain't see Thanksgiving dinner. I ain't see Christmas. I ain't bring New Year's in. I've been right here, just like this here. Listen, I got Cartier's. I got Al Wasson's. I got 22's. I got TVs in my car. I got money. All the came home and idolized when I came home from prison saying, I want to get this I got it. But what good is it doing me right now? It can't get me out of jail. I did all that and I can't even I can't even enjoy it. I'm leaving it out there for somebody else to enjoy. And these people is not playing. Y'all don't understand right now y'all have a y'all have a chance to be a child. Don't you know I would get my whole life I mean, I would get my life right now, today. You can kill me, blow my brains out. If you can guarantee me my daughter would not have to go through the shit I went through. The pressures from society, from her peers, from everybody to be like me, a monster. Because they turned me into a monster. I turned myself into this shit because I got caught up chasing the dream. The hood, representing the hood that really don't matter. That's all I'm trying to get y'all to understand. That the that you ready to die for and you about to get your life up, it doesn't even really matter. You blame everybody, but uh, uh, law enforcement is not the first blame. I think the first blame is parenting. I mean, it, and that's where it always starts. And. Uh, you know, we're in situations now where so many of our families in, in large cities are single parent families to begin with, uh, and then that single parent is working and scuffling to try to make a living, and kids are raising themselves, and uh, that's where the problem starts. Uh, we certainly sometimes can be a part of the problem if we don't do our job effectively, uh, but in most cases, I think in our department we do, um, but you know, we're not everybody's parents. This gang shit is stupid. This is stupid. I mean, listen, I did it. I made the mistake just like y'all making a mistake right now. I'm not saying that I don't understand where y'all at right now. All I'm saying is, look what happened to me. I'm a prime example. Look, I got yellow everywhere. I love me. I love me. I love me more than I love anybody in this world. But why the am I putting myself through this? Why the I put myself in a position where they lock me down at night? They just, you know what they just gave me for lunch? You know what I ate? By force. A cheese pocket. Some bread folded over with some cheese in the middle of it. That's lunch. With a cool shot. Take that. I don't have a choice. If I love me, why would I put me through that? Do you love you? Do you? That's the question. 
Do you want to come live like this? Dog, if you come in here, because you a guy, I'm going to make it rough for you. I'm going to make it rough as possible. Because you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. You come in here telling me your sad story. You just stuck the AK out the window and killed 30 people. I don't want to hear that shit. You think I care about that? You ain't got no motherfucking AK right now. I'm just saying, something simple as this. I just want to go in the refrigerator and get me a piece of cold chicken. Whether it's a piece of it's a burrito for you or whatever y'all like, you know what I'm saying, your specialty. I just want to be able to go in the refrigerator and get me some Kool-Aid. I just want some good Kool-Aid or a Fago Pop. I can't get none of that. Do you understand that? You, with the white, do you understand that? I can't get none of that. I can't hug my daughter. I couldn't hug my family for Christmas. This is what they do to the tough people. Scarface said one thing, man. Don't believe that song. It's wrong. Gangsters don't live that long. He told the truth, man. I be in the shower singing that all day. Because I believe that I'm a gangster. I believe I pay my dues. Why I ain't rich? This the rock right here. Of course I was intimidated to take a shower in there. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I mean, a guy can come right up in there with you while you're taking a shower. And this is what they do. You know what I'm saying? This jail. This guy's in here been in here years. You know what I'm saying? And they may be gay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who want to take a shower like this here? Where's the decency at in there? You know what I'm saying? This is like an animal. You put an animal somewhere and you spray him. And that's what this do. You push the button. This is it right here. Look how the water come out. That's all we got. This, this, this is this how we living, you know what I'm saying? This breath is for a grown man. With a meal right there. This this what we got right here. This how we living. Ain't no ain't no omelets, ain't no bowls and waffles, ain't no no shit like that, ain't no sausages and none of that. That's what's going on. This what we do push up, this what we live. We read books. They go to the Bible right there. We keep the Bible close, cause in here this all we got is God to save us. You know what I'm saying? We ask him for mercy, you know. Other than that, we just make it how we just we go through it like robots. We wake up, we go to sleep. Ten o'clock, them doors lock. They shed the doors, we step inside the cell. We can't come out no more after ten o'clock. The TV go off. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? And but all day, the rest of the day, we sit up and we do that right there. We play cards, we play chess, we fight, we do all kind of stuff in here just to make it through the day, to survive. And we hear a whole bunch of sad stories, a whole bunch of I wish I wouldn't have did this, a whole bunch of maybe not, maybe next time I'm going to do better. And we live with this and we deal with this. So, you know, this is it. Like I said before. And the end. This what it come to. This what all the good things, all the chasing the dreams and all the illusion and all being tough get you right here in the county jail. 